starting on Monday, masks will be optional for kids under five in New York City schools and daycare centers. It comes as the health commissioner says the city is past the peak of the latest COVID wave. Case numbers have fallen by 26% in the past two weeks. CBS's John Diaz is live at City Hall in Lower Manhattan with more this morning. John. Chris and Mary, good morning to both of you. And the mayor attributing this next chapter to everyday New Yorkers, saying that they stepped up when New York needed it the most, and they put New York on a path to lower risk. It's been three months since the mayor made it optional for kids K through 12 to wear their masks in school settings, but now he is extending that to New York's youngest kids under five. The mayor saying he had been waiting until now because he has been following the data and waiting until the latest Omicron surge began to steadily fall, saying in a statement that I'm with New York City parents and New Yorkers can trust this administration to continue to make the proper public health decisions to keep our kids safe. Some teachers agreed that unmasking toddlers, even though they cannot yet be vaccinated, is the right move. Definitely a good idea. Because? I'm a teacher and it's hard to hear kids speaking and um, it's hard for them to learn when they're learning letters and sounds, learning how to read. And some parents, like Natalia Merkiver, are thrilled with the latest developments. I cried because I know how much damage we've done to these toddlers and I see these little babies who really need to learn how to speak and how to speak smile and how to how to be smiled at. Merkiver heads a group called Restore Childhood that had been trying to convince the mayor to move faster in lifting mask mandates for all kids. The group's recent poll found that 59% of New York City parents believe that children under the age of five should have mass choice at school. It also found that only 18% trust that the City Department of Health knows better than the CDC when it comes to masking policies. But there are still parents who are hesitant to unmask their kids, fearing that there is still the threat of catching COVID. That can be a little bit dangerous, especially because uh, they are kids. It's supposed that the, those are the ones we need to protect the most. So I don't know. I don't think that's a really good idea. I think it's a bad idea. Why? Um, a lot of kids are in the same room. I'm worried that the virus will spread. If one gets it, everyone gets it. And when it comes to the COVID vaccine, the White House says that it is getting ready to roll out doses of both the Pfizer and the Moderna uh, for kids under five by June 21st. And they will be available at many different places from pediatrician offices to museums. We're live this morning from City Hall. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.